We're 2,500 miles away from home, stuck in our hotel room, and we're starving right now. But we're going to be eating like royalty here in just a few minutes. Really? Yes, really. Hey guys, it's Jara with Wicked Prepared. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we are not in our usual surroundings. Right now, we're in Provo, Utah at the annual Thrive Life Conference, and we are having a blast. But we've been learning so much. We got to tour the Thrive Life facility. We've been meeting so many great people, and I've got some really exciting news to share with you guys. We told you they would be premiering a new product here this weekend. Well, they announced not only one, but three new items. Three new additions to our popular line of freeze-dried emergency meals. The new meals are teriyaki chicken with rice, butter chicken with rice, and beef pot roast. And we got to sample all of them. We also got a chance to purchase them at a discount to take home with us. So now we're back in our hotel room and we're hungry. So I got to tell you, we are eyeing this teriyaki chicken. Now these meals are super easy to prepare because all you need is boiling water, but we're in a hotel room that doesn't have a kitchenette or even a microwave. But we do have a coffee maker. So we're gonna have us some teriyaki chicken. So this is the meal that we're gonna make and this is what they look like. This is a really big pouch if you can tell. This actually contains um, three servings, three one cup servings, and I think most people would probably get two servings out of it, but it's bigger than most of the other um, emergency meals like this and this one is these are just head and shoulders above most of the other brands because these have real meat and all real ingredients and the sauces that they make they actually make the sauces fresh um, and then they freeze dry the sauce rather than using powdered ingredients for the sauces so these are awesome the one we're going to make is chicken teriyaki and you can see here the ingredients to refresh now it says put it into a different a separate container but plenty of people do it right in the bag so that's what we're going to do but so we're going to get started and fix this up so we'll have something to eat so here is inside the bag and obviously you want to take out the oxygen absorber and then you can see down in there, those are all the chunks of real chicken. And you can see the bits of sauce that are made fresh and then freeze dried. And there's the rice. And this does call for one cup of boiling water. Another thing we do not have in the hotel room is a measuring cup to measure the eight ounces of water. I do have this coffee cup, which is 10 ounces. And I have a solo cup, which is nine ounces. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the smaller cup fill it almost all the way full to try to get eight ounces and pour it into the coffee cup. And that's how I'm gonna measure my water for this recipe. It's not gonna be an exact science, but I think it'll work. One thing I am doing is I'm starting with hot water from the faucet, because that's gonna make the water that comes out of the coffee machine the absolute hottest that we can get it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run this water through the coffee machine, pretty self-explanatory. Right back into this coffee cup. This is pretty hot, but I'm gonna go ahead and run it through here one more time, just for good measure. Oop. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and pour my water into the pouch. And I do have a plastic spoon that we got somewhere that I can stir this up with. And we're gonna let this set. Now it says to let it set for 10 minutes. Sometimes you have to let these set a little bit more, it just depends. But what we can do, we use a towel from the hotel to make a little cozy for this. That's gonna lock in the heat. This is kind of a backpacking trick. And do this a lot with backpacking meals and that's going to lock in that heat and help that to rehydrate even better so i'm going to go ahead and check it in 10 minutes and see if it needs any more time also if it needed any more water we could run a little bit more water through the machine and add that at that point just going to go ahead and set this over here so i know it's not going to fall over so while this meal is refreshing i wanted to talk a little bit about thrive life and some of the things that we've seen and learned here and just how amazing this company is we flew out here to Utah on Wednesday. We are not big travelers. We're both really homebodies, so this was a big deal for us. 
Thursday morning we had a chunk of time to kill, so we drove back up to Salt Lake um, from Provo where we're staying, and we drove through Antelope Island State Park. It did rain on us while we were there, but it was still really neat. We saw a herd of American bison right outside our car. I guess I shouldn't make noise. Oh my god. Oh my god. And later we saw this huge mass of white in the water and we couldn't for the life of us figure out what this was. But we ended up realizing it was some sort of living creature. My eyes are so bad I had to just zoom way in with my camera to try to see it. But what we eventually realized is that it was a whole flock of pelicans, which I don't think I've ever seen in the wild. So that was really awesome. After the state park, we headed down to American Fork to tour the Thrive Life facility. No kidding, it's right there. Unfortunately, they didn't allow any pictures or videos inside the facility, so we don't have that to show you. But we did see both the original facility and also their brand new huge building down the road where they now do a lot of packaging, warehousing, and shipping. If you order from Thrive Life, all your orders are packed and shipped right out of that building. The whole tour was really interesting. We had actually never been to the Thrive Life facility before. Since then, we have been at the event that we're at, and I tell you what, I don't think I really ever get across to you guys just how incredible this company really is. I mean, I tell you about the food sometimes, but I never really talk about the company itself. One of the things that I love about Thrive Life, but I never really think to mention or talk about is Thriving Nations. Thriving Nations is a charity that they founded back in 2010, and they have a mission to help impoverished people around the world to become more self-sufficient. So every time you make a purchase from Thrive Life, or I make a purchase from Thrive Life, 5% of the profits are going right to Thriving Nations, which in turn funds projects around the globe. There's also an option to round up your orders to the next nearest dollar in order to donate just a little bit more. Yesterday they announced their next project is going to be in Guatemala and that consultants are going to be able to have a chance to earn a place on this humanitarian trip to Guatemala, which I am really excited about. I would love to do that. The other thing that we heard a lot more about um, while we've been here is Thrive's international expansion. And I get chills every time that I hear more about this. Thrive Life has grown exponentially in the last few years, as you probably know. And they've gone from one single plant in American Fork, Utah, to now nine plants and 10 distribution centers, not only in the United States and Canada, but nine different countries. They're still wrapping up all the final details for the whole international side of the business, but this is really huge. There are so many people waiting for this and the company is just exploding. So there really hasn't been a better time to get involved. If you're one of those who lives outside the US and Canada who's been waiting ever so patiently, or even if you just want to get the news and the information when it becomes available, we invite you to email us um, info at wickedprepared.com and tell us what country you're in and that you're interested in updates on Thrive Life International and we'll make sure that you're among the first to know when it happens. And if joining Thrive Life as a business is something that you've ever considered, like I mentioned, there hasn't, hasn't ever been a better time than right now. And here's something that's going to make it just a little bit sweeter. Starting today, September 24th, we're going to be holding a free giveaway drawing for our consultants on our team. If you're already working with me on my team, I will enter your name into the drawing automatically. If you haven't signed up yet, you have until October 10th to join and enter the contest. For those of you that don't know, you can turn this opportunity into a great side hustle or even a full-time income just by sharing this food that we love so much. It's so fulfilling and it's really a great feeling to be a part of this company. It truly is. And being here in Utah, talking with the founders, the leadership, walking through the facility, spending time with all of the great people that work here, it makes me so proud and so grateful to be a part of this family. And they really reward us very well for our efforts. We get commissions on sales. We get free credit for food and products, all kinds of bonuses, and even a chance at earning an all-expense paid trip to paradise. This year, we're heading to Costa Rica in January. You can text the word EARN to my text number 207-762-7138, and we can go over the details, and I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. It's a really quick and easy sign up to get started, and then you'll automatically be entered into the drawing. And you're probably asking, well, what is she giving away? And here it is. This is a huge perk to being a consultant and attending these conferences. They always include special treats just for those who attend. And this year they made a batch of freeze dried dragon fruit available only to consultants that attend the conference. So I'm bringing home an extra can that I'll be shipping directly to the winner along with one of these cool spatulas that I picked up at the Thrive Store here. And I'll send you two of the emergency meals and you get to choose which ones out of all the meals they have available. 
I'll also be sending information to my team members about a couple of ways to earn extra entries into the drawing to increase your odds of winning. So be sure to keep an eye out for that. Okay, now let's see if our meal is ready to eat. Okay, let's see if this is done. You know what? I think this is done. Can you see that down in there? Look at all that chicken. That is all real chicken. Look at that. I cannot wait to dig into this. Okay, I am ready to eat because this is ready. Hmm. Mm, that is so good. This is one of my favorites. This is amazing. Babe, this is ready. Come try it. Wow. That's good, huh? That's awesome. And mm. that's going to be enough for the both of us to have a little bit of dinner here, not have to go out, not have to call for room service because we looked at that menu and it's really expensive. That's good, huh? Can you let me have any more? No. <laughs> okay, guys, that was a brief little look at all the excitement we've been experiencing this weekend. We will be back to our regularly scheduled programming next week. These three new meals will be available on the website next week. I will have a link to the meal section down in the description box below the video. So you can check out like the meals that they already have. And then as soon as the new ones are available, they'll show up there as well. I'm also going to put a link to the Thriving Nations program so that you can check that out a little bit if you'd like. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, leave me a bee emoji down in the comments. And also tell me if you know why I chose a bee today. I was looking for a beehive, but I didn't have one. So if you do, then leave that. And also don't forget to check out this playlist right up here next. I'm Jared with Wicked Prepared. Survive today, thrive tomorrow. We'll see you next time.